A week has passed, and still, so hard to comprehend, to believe, Pat Tillman is God. Much of the talk of his passing has centered around numbers. His GPA is a standout student athlete. The 42 that he wore as a sun devil. The millions of dollars that he passed up in answering the call of duty. Tonight, we propose our own number for our fallen hero. The number one. You'll only encounter one Tilly in your lifetime, and he's just one of the hundreds of men and women who have given their life in the name of freedom. It's likely Pat would have been offended by the idea of an entire show dedicated to his life. He was much too selfless for that. So tonight, we honor him by going about our business as usual. Pat sacrificed his life so that we could enjoy ours, a gift that can't ever be repaid and won't ever be forgotten. For your son, Double Insider. We thank you for joining us on our final Sun Devil Insider of the season. I'm Bob Costello, too. No Pat Tillman was to love him. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to meet Pat. But in talking and listening to all of those who did, it would have been hard not to like him, or at the very least, respect him. Pat Tillman was a true American hero. He wasn't afraid to say what he felt and then to back it up with his deeds. He strongly believed in his family and his country. He lived for the former. He died for the latter. Our Jody Jackson has more on the life of Pat Tillman. Many kids grow up with a dream of playing football. Pat Tillman was no different, except that he had many more dreams. Born in Northern California, Pat left there after high school to play linebacker at Arizona State and major in marketing. When Pat came to ASU, he got the last football scholarship. Bruce Snyder told him his plans were to redshirt him. But Pat said he could do what he wanted, but his plans were to leave college in four years because he had other things to do with his life. And maybe that's why he had a 3.86 GPA and got his degree in three and a half years. When you talk to Pat, it was rarely about football, and yet he played his heart out, helping the Sun Devils upset the top-ranked Corn Huskers in 1996, and becoming the Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year in 97. At 5'11", 200 pounds, many thought he was too small to make it in the NFL, but the Cardinals drafted him 226 overall. He won the starting safety job as a rookie, and in 2000, Tillman led the team with 224 his fire came out on the field like in this training camp fight. Somebody kind of said, you know, if you're not, it's like skiing, if you're not falling, you're not trying. I mean, we're out here trying to work. Sometimes stupid things like that happen. It's no big deal. I mean, that's, that's why we're out here. And in games, he went after the opponent with reckless abandon. But soon he would take his fight to a different field. The events of September 11th changed Kilman's perspective. A week after 9 11, he talked about what the American flag meant as a symbol of our freedom. As athletes, we bitch and moan every now and again about this or that. And if we ever just, you know, t times like this, we stop and think about just how, not only how good we have it, but what kind of a system we live under, um, what freedoms were allowed. Uh, and that wasn't built overnight, and, and it's kind of the flag is a symbol of all that, a symbol of, you know, my, my great grandfather was at Pearl Harbor, and a lot of my family has given up, you know, has, has gone and fought in wars, and, and I really haven't done a damn thing um, as far as laying myself on the line like that, and so I have a great deal of respect for those that have. And with the flag stand for. Pat finished the 2001 season and then turned down a three year, $3.6 million offer to continue playing football. He had a new plan. Pat married his girlfriend Marie in May of 2002 and a few days later enlisted in the Army. He became an Army Ranger and was first deployed in March of 2003 in the Middle East. He came back in December to the state of Washington. The Cardinals played in Seattle on December 21st and that weekend, Tillman and his family visited. With players and coach Dave McGinnis. Talk about uh, something that brings everything into perspective. You know, Pat and uh, Kevin, Pat's wife, uh, Marie. Uh, it was a it was a very very rewarding and enriching uh, evening just to spend uh, with those with those young people. 
Thank you, Jody. Now, almost immediately upon learning of Tillman's death, ASU announced that it will retire his number, a ceremony at the final home game of the year against Washington State. Until that game, senior defensive end Connor Banks will continue to wear number 42 as a tribute. Prior to each game, Banks will carry the American flag out of the tunnel and on the front push field. Also, ASU getting together with the Cardinals to start a Pat Tillman scholarship. We would uh, create a scholarship fund uh, in Pat Tillman's name. Uh, we are working uh, with the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, we have been working with the, the W.P. Terry School of Business to create the scholarship fund. So the recipient of the scholarship uh, will be a student in the W.P. Terry School of Business. Got to stick around when the insider continues. A little business as usual. We will take you down under and later a tribute to Pat Tillman, the community dearly missing him. When you see someone like him, as humble as he was compared to some of the other stars that are out there, you, you just realize what a star really is. I just wish that uh, all of the families could have a son like him to give up everything for, uh, for this country. Uh, I just wanted to let him know that uh, we enjoyed sharing everything with him here at uh, ASU and in Arizona. And uh, uh, it's probably more emotional, I think, than I've ever been.